Hello my dear friends, it's me Anmol and you all must be fine and today is Hanuman Jayanti so happy Hanuman Jayanti to everyone and today I've come back with a quick video about JJ Thompson's atomic model. So let's get started. So as you all know that atom is the smallest unit of anything around us. It may be matter or other kind of thing. So atom is divided into three states. First one is electron. which is negatively charged particle and was discovered by J.J. Thomson. Second one is proton and is positively charged particle and was discovered by E. Goldstein. And the last one is neutron, which is neutral, neutrally charged particle. That means neutral means it is neither negative nor positive so it was discovered by rutherford and today we will be discussing about thomson's atomic model so at that time neutron was not discovered only this subatomic particle which is electron and proton were discovered thomson's atomic model was proposed in the 90s and have a circular thing like this in which dots like this were made and I already told you that his atomic model consists of electron and proton so this dots which were embedded in this white surface were actually electron they were less in number and as you all can see we can say these are negative charged particles these all have minus and this as you can see this whole white part this were the positively charged particle proton as you can see this model was like this but his model is not accepted now. Either we use Bohr's model, which is like this. You must have seen in your physics copy, chemistry copy. It's like this. Electrons are placed in the orbits. Or it's also known as cells. Like this. And it has got nucleus, which consists of electron. No, sorry. Which consists of protons and neutrons. Negative charged particle, positive charged particle and neutral charge particle and in the orbits electrons were placed which were a positively sorry negatively charged particles and I've brought a watermelon I forgot to say you that uh, Thomson's atomic model was also known as plum pudding model or watermelon model so why is it is called as watermelon model because these dots are similar to the seeds you can see the seeds, or we, we can say that these seeds are the electron, the negative charge particle, and this red portion, the fruit portion, is the positively charged particle proton. So, as you, you can see, and a funny thing, look, I am holding an electron in my hand. Can you do this? I can do. But currently, this Thomson's atomic model is not upset it either we use Bohr's atomic model so thank you for watching my videos please do subscribe my channel and again I say happy Hanuman Jayanti to everyone bye bye